الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبینا محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد حبت فی اللہ as general advice to the youth of Ahlul Sunnah and the youth everywhere in fact from amongst the Muslims and in our continuing discussion about the Jama'ah Qala Imam al-Babahari rahimahullah ta'ala فَمِنَ السُنَّةِ لُزُومَ الْجَمَاعَةِ فَمَنْ رَغِبَ غَيْرَ الْجَمَاعَةِ وَالْفَارِقَهَا فَقَدْ خَلْعَ رِبْقَةَ الْإِسْلَامِ مِنْ عُنَقِهِ وَكَانَ الضَّالٍ مُضِلَّةِ Imam Babahari رحمه الله تعالى said with regards to the sunnah, the sunnah of Ahlul Sunnah, you know, the, those principles of Aqidah, those principles of Minhaj methodology, those principles of the deen, of the religion. He said, from Min Sunnah, and from the sunnah is adhering to the Jama'ah. And he said, whoever desires other than the Jama'ah, meaning the Jama'ah of Muslimin, the main body of Muslims, the Muslims, those of Ahlul Sunnah, those adhering to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah to Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, wa farakaha, and they, div they cause division with them, or they divide from them, split from them, then they have left the, the collar of Islam that's around their neck, meaning they've departed from Islam. And they are misguided and they misguide others. Uh, the the Mashaykh, Ulama of Ahl Sunnah, in explaining this Ibarah, mention that this Ibarah can be understood in several ways. And one of the ways is understanding that Imam Babahari did not mean that the person has left Islam as in they have uh, disbelieved, but rather they have left the Sabila Mu'mineen. Unless they, it's in totality, they have left the aqidah of Ahl Sunnah, they've left everything, then this is something different. So it depends if the person entered, uh, did something that takes one out of the fold of Islam, a, a nullifier of faith, or not. Imam a Sheikh Salib bin Fawzan, Hafizullah Ta'ala, said, with regards to this uh, statement of Imam Barbahari, he said a sunnah unwa. He said the sunnah is different, uh, different types or different levels. For min sunnah lazum al jamaa, and he explained, and from the sunnah is adhering to the jamaa. This ibara, the statement of Imam Barbahari, he said, I. He said it means. Luzum al jamaa to Muslimin al ladina al al haq. He said it is adhering to the main body of the Muslims that are on the haq, that are on the truth. So here he made it muqayyid. He restricted it. He restricted the sentence of Imam Babahari because Imam Babahari said in general said the jamaa. Imam Fozan explained what this means and what he means by this is that it's that it's muqayyid, that it's restricted to those who are on the haq. Because of course there's jama'at, there's jama'at al-Ikhwan al-Muslimin, there's jama'at al-Tabliq, there's jama'at al-Takfir al-Wahijra, there's jama'at al-Daesh or ISIS, there is kathrat al-Jama'at, jama'at al-Sufiyya al-Turq, kathah, jama'at al-Sufiyya al-Turq, kathah. You know, there's all sorts of groups, there's all sorts of people you could join and make bi'a to and follow in deviance and misguidance into the path of the hellfire. Wa'iyadhan billah. However, Imam Fozan showed and illustrated not from himself, from what the Nasus show us, from what the Quran shows us, from what the Sunnah shows us. And hold on all of you steadfast to the rope of Allah and do not divide because all those groups they divide. They call you to their jama'at. And he says, I lazum al jama'at al muslimin al ala haq fil jama'atu. من كان على الحق كلا أهله أو كثروا. Imam Fuzan said then, he explained that they are the ones who are in the truth. When we refer to the Jama'ah, we're talking about those who the Jama'ah على الحق. And then he said, so the Jama'ah, or therefore the Jama'ah, is those who are upon the truth. 
regardless of whether they are few or many in numbers. There's so much and there's so many books written on this and hopefully we'll get a chance to in the future actually go into details about this. But I want to end on one hadith to show us the importance of sticking to Ahl Sunnah, to sticking with the Salafiyun. Because there's so many people who attack Salafiyah and don't understand Salafiyah. There are people who call the Salafiyah who don't understand Salafiyah. There are people who call the Salafiyah who are on Hezbiyah. There's Everything is out there. And the only way we're going to be able to benefit ourselves is by knowledge and and sticking with the ulama. قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم افتركت اليهود ل 71 فرقة وافتركت النصارى ل 72 فرقة وستفترك هذه الأمة ل 73 فرقة كلها في النار إلى واحدة كل من يهي من هي يا رسول الله قال من كان على متي وما كان عليه وأصحابي وكما قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم said the Jews were breaking the 71 sects the Christian 72 sects, my ummah in the 73 sects, all of them in the fire except one. And they said, who are they, Ya Rasulullah? He said, those who are upon what I'm upon and what my companions are upon. And in another narration, the jama'ah. It's easy to say Ahl Sunnah. And it's easily say, easily, easy to say Salafi. It's easily, easy to claim that for yourself. But the proof is, the reality is in your practice, your understanding, your aqidah, your men, menhaj, your methodology, and not in your claim. The only way you're going to adhere to the Qur'an and the Sunnah is by knowing something from the Qur'an and the Sunnah. And the only way you're going to adhere to the menhaj of the Salaf as salih is by knowing and understanding something from the menhaj of the Salaf as salih and by practicing that, and by having some ilm and fiqh and basira with that. Because you can cling to statements of the Salaf, but use them out of context. You can say, so-and-so from the Salaf said this, this Athara ibn Mas'ud said this, da -da -da, and then you try to make tatbiq, but your tatbiq is, is false, your istinbat, your use of that adilla, that use of that evidence is incorrect. This is why it takes ilm, and it isn't cut and paste by the internet. It isn't going to this website and this website and just reading fatawa and then starting to make fatawa and starting to make tahdir or warning against your brothers and sisters. La, but you got to get ilm. And I advise myself and my brothers and sisters to get ilm, to seek knowledge. I can't even stress it enough to gain more and more knowledge of your religion. Learn something from the Quran, learn something from the Sunnah, learn the Arabic language so you can go to the books and you can listen to the ulama and you don't have to listen to me. And this will be much better for you. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.